A house fire that killed a seven-year-old boy in Fresno this morning is being investigated tonight as a homicide. Isaac Vallejo died at his home on College and McKenzie Avenues. A vigil was held for the boy tonight. CBS 47's Catherine Phillips joins us live from the Fresno Police Department with the latest on this investigation. Catherine. Well, Catherine, police say whoever set this fire used some sort of accelerant at both the front and the back door of the home. And police say because of that, they say whoever did this did it on purpose. Oh, hi, baby boy. Tears flow as family and friends of seven year old Isaac Vallejo start to say goodbye. Fresno police say he died in. Avenue early Wednesday morning. Six other people were inside the house, including a 13 year old who police say jumped from the second story to make it out alive. Uh, I can't. They would have been uh, having to, to, to jump from the second story to save their own life. And uh, unfortunately, the seven year old couldn't, couldn't make that jump. Now, the case is a homicide investigation. Chief Paco Balderrama says there's proof someone purposely set the house on fire using some sort of accelerant to make the fire spread even faster. The fire was not just set, um, delivery set in the front of the house, also the, the back of the house. So, um, did they intend for anybody to get out? Probably not. And they were successful in murdering at least one person, an innocent child. No suspects have been identified just yet. And police say they don't know if any particular person in the house was a target, leaving family and friends of Isaac to grieve without answers. A horrible, horrible, horrible act. And uh, we don't know what the motive was, but I'm very confident that we're going to find that out. Police say just last week there was a shooting in front of the house. At this point, they cannot say whether that shooting and this fire are connected. Live in Fresno tonight, Catherine Phillips, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Catherine, thank you. And for continuing coverage of the investigation, be sure to stay with Eyewitness News online, on air, and at yourcentralvalley.com.